All right, so here we're going to be looking at drawing transformations. The four types of transformations we're going to look at are translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations. This might get kind of long, so I'm going to have timestamps in the description so you can fast forward to whichever one you want to look at the most or whatever you're struggling with. We'll start out with translations. Translations is where you are moving a shape without rotating or flipping the shape. It can be diagonal, it can be straight across, left, right, however it works. So looking at Zigil here, we are going to move him four to the left and three units up. So four to the left, here we go, one, two, three, four, and then three up. Here we go, one, two, three. And the new one is called the image of Zigil after the translation. Zigil Prime would be another way of saying it. Here's our original. There's the image. We can also do it with uh, shapes like this trapezoid here. Here we're going to do the same thing for the left. One, two, three, four. And three units up. One, two, three. And there's the, the image of the trapezoid after a translation for the left and three up. Now, if we're actually doing this with uh, pencil and paper type of thing, we are going to be going vertex by vertex. So we're going to take this trapezoid ABCD and we're going to translate it four to the left and three up. And when we do this, each point of the figure moves the same distance and the same direction. So again, we're just going to go point by point, vertex by vertex. So starting with vertex A, we're going to go one, two, three, four to the left and one, two, three up. And the new vertex A, uh, A prime, is going to be right there, negative four, one for its coordinate point. After we do the first one, we move on to the next one. We're going to do this with each of the vertices. So B is going to go four to the left and three up and B prime right there. Next vertex, we can do vertex C for the left and three up. And again, you're just counting squares. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And new C goes there, C prime. And then the final vertex, the final point is going to be D for the left and three up. So D prime right there on the Y axis where, uh, where Y is one. Uh, finally, just connect all the dots there. Again, with the translations, you just take each vertex and you move it the same distance, in this case, four to the left and three up. So there's our image of trapezoid ABCD, also known as A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Now looking at reflections, reflections are just going to make a mirror image of the original figure. So we can take any line and reflect it over. Here, let's look at reflecting over the y-axis. So we're going to reflect, reflect Midgel over the y-axis. So there's the reflected image of Midgel or Midgel Prime. We can also do the x-axis. And this one, the first one was kind of like looking in a mirror. This one's kind of like looking in water, like a pool or a lake or whatever. And it's going to be reflected down. So there's our reflected image of Midgel or Midgel Prime. When we go to do this on actual shapes, uh, in this case we're going to reflect over the y-axis. We'll take the triangle ABC and reflect over the y-axis. Um, there's our y-axis. We are going to be doing each point is going to move to the opposite side of the line. So same as translations, we're going to do point by point by point. So we'll start with vertex or point A. Point A is one, two, three units to the right. So its reflection is going to be three units to the left. So there's A prime there. Uh, B is one unit to the right. So its reflection will be one to the left. So B prime there. And the final vertex, the final point, is going to be C. C is one, two units to the right, so its reflection be two to the left. And there's C prime. So now we connect the dots, and there's our reflected image of triangle ABC, A prime, B prime, C prime, after reflected over the Y axis. We can reflect over the y-axis. In this example, we'll re we will reflect over the x-axis. So this one looks a little bit more confusing because it ends up overlapping. But as long as you remember, we're going to do each point in the opposite side of the line. It's a little bit simpler. So we'll start with vertex A or point A. A is one above the line, so its reflection will be one below the line right there. B. B is one, two units above the line, so its reflection will be two below the line. So B prime right there. And then vertex C, point C is one, two, three, four below the line. So its reflection will be four above the line. And C prime right there. 
Last up, just connect the dots and there is the reflected image of triangle ABC, um, A prime, B prime, C prime. Looking at rotations, uh, rotation is where you spin around a point. So this point here will, uh, will be the origin that we're going to be spinning around. Now if we do a 90 degree rotation, that's going to be a quarter of a turn. So Fidgel is going to move a quarter of the turn. Uh, if we're wanting to do a 180 degrees, which we'll get to next, so uh, looking at the 90 degree rotation, that's the image of Fidgel after the 90 degree rotation, Fidgel Prime. So now we'll look at a 180 degree rotation. Um, that's going to be a half turn. So here we go. That's what a half turn looks like. He's going through two quadrants there. And a 270 degree rotation is going to be three quarters of a turn. So we're going to move three quadrants and end up there in the third quadrant. And if you're doing a 360 degree rotation, that is a complete turn. Fidgel goes all the way around and back onto himself. Now, if we're doing this on a shape, we are going to do vertex by vertex by vertex. So here's what a quarter of a turn looks like. So that's the 90 degree counterclockwise. So here we go. Triangle ABC goes to there for a quarter of a turn. One more time. And there's your A prime, B prime, C prime. That's the image of triangle ABC after a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Now, when we do this on pencil paper, again, we're going to do a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Each point of the figure is going to rotate one quarter of a turn. So we can start out with this coordinate right here, three negative three, negative one. Quarter of a turn is going to end up at one negative three right there. So notice how the, the, uh, the X and the Y, they do switch places. Next vertex to work on, we'll do this one here. That's at four negative three. That's going to rotate around and it's going to be at three negative four. And then the last vertex to rotate is right here at negative one, negative two. When we rotate that, it's going to be at two, negative one. So the X and the Y's, they do switch spots and then they do change signs as well. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So that's at two, negative one. And then we do want to finish this off. So we're going to go ahead and complete the triangle there. So when we're doing these uh, 90 degree rotations counterclockwise, the X and the Y, they, they switch uh, positions, I guess you can say. And then the Y value is opposite what it started with. So in this case here, the X is going to um, stay as negative four, but it's going to be, it's going to turn to the Y and then the Y is going to switch from a negative to a positive. The Y is going to switch from a negative to a positive, or in this case, vice versa. So next up, let's look at 180 degree rotation counterclockwise. So that's going to be a half turn. There we go. So there's a, a half turn one more time. So the blue one is the image of triangle ABC or A prime, B prime, C prime. Uh, again, when we do these uh, by hand, pencil, paper, or if you're doing it on a computer, uh, most of the time you are still going to go, each point is going to rotate a half turn. So starting with this point again, we're going from a negative three, negative one, half turn, 180 degrees is going to go to three, one right there. Next vertex we'll look at is this one here, negative four, negative three, 180 degrees goes to the coordinate point there, and that's going to be four, three. For our coordinate point. And then the last vertex to do is at negative one, negative two. Uh, half turn is going to go to positive one, positive two for that final vertex there. And again, if you're working this pencil paper or whatever you might be doing, if you're following along, taking notes or whatever, um, go ahead and connect the dots and there's your 180 degree rotation. We're just doing each, each point uh, point by point by point. Now in this case here, if you're looking at the numbers, the negatives just turn to positives or vice versa. So your XY pairs just make them both opposite. So if it's a negative X, it turns to positive, vice versa. And then just looking real quick at a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. Here we go. Uh, we're doing three quarters of a turn. So we're moving three, uh, what are those, quadrants. And so there's your A prime, B prime, C prime. There's the image there of triangle ABC. Um, on these ones, if we're looking at the coordinates, uh, this one here, four, negative three, turns to negative three, four. So this is similar to the 90 degree rotation, um, except in this case, the X value is switching uh, the sign on it. It's, it's becoming the opposite. So instead of a negative four, it'll be a positive four and it'll be in the, the Y 
position of your uh, ordered pairs. All right, so now looking at dilations. Dilations, that's when the figure is made bigger or smaller in respect to a point. And this is, uh, for this one here, we're going to do the, the origin as our center of, uh, of dilation. Um, so uh, to start out with, we'll just look at a scale factor of 2. Um, it's going to get twice as big. And it's going to move twice as far away from your center of dilation. So there's the there's Kevin. Here's the image of Kevin after the scale factor 2 dilation, Kevin Prime. Now, if we want to do a, a scale factor of a half, it's going to be half as big. So there we go. He's shrinking down. He's getting half as close or half as far, depending on how you want to look at it, from the, the center, in this case, the origin there. Now, if we're doing these on, again, pencil paper, uh, we're going to dilate this triangle ABC with a scale factor of 2. Now, again, we're going to go point by point, vertex by vertex. Each point is going to be multiplied by the scale factor. In this case, it's a 2. So starting with vertex A, vertex A is at 4 and negative 2. So we're going to multiply, we're going to multiply by 2. So instead of a 4, negative 2, it's going to be an 8, negative 4. The 4 times 2 makes 8, and then the negative 2 times 2 makes negative 4. So that's going to put A prime right there at 8, negative 4. Uh, next one up we'll do is vertex B. Vertex B is at a 2, negative 3. So we're going to double those numbers, multiply by 2. The uh, 2 and uh, negative 3 multiplied by 2 makes 4 and negative 6. So B prime will be right there. And then finally we'll look at C. C is at a 3 on the X and a negative 5 on the Y. Multiply by 2 makes 6 and negative 10. So C prime would be right there. And we're going to go ahead and connect the dots to finish off the triangle, the image of A, B, C, A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, and again, you're just multiplying by whatever the scale factor is. In this case, it was a 2. Now we're just going to look at what a uh, scale factor of 1 half looks like. So each point is multiplied by a half. Uh, multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by 2. So when we do these, we're just going to take all of our ordered pairs and divide by 2. So here we have a negative 8 and a 2. Divide by 2. Uh, each coordinate point, the, the negative 8 and the 2, turns to uh, negative 4, 1. There's our A prime there. Looking at B, that's at a negative 10. And a 4, divide by 2, that'll be a negative 5 and a 2 there. And so B prime goes there. And then C prime, that's at a negative 4 and a 6. So divide negative 4 by 2 and divide 6 by 2. And there's your C prime there. And then go ahead and connect the dots. And there's your, there's your image of triangle ABC after a dilation scale factor 1 half, A prime, B prime, C prime. So we've looked at the, the different types of transformations. Translation, that's where you're moving each vertex uh, up and over the same amount or down and over the same amount. Uh, reflections is where we're making uh, mirrored images and our uh, points are going to the opposite side of the line. Rotation, we are rotating or spinning around a point. And dilation, we're either making it bigger by the same amount, uh, like a 2, or we're making it smaller by the same amount, like divide by 2 or multiply by a half. So hope this helps, and have a great rest of the day, start to the day, great night, whatever time you might be watching this.